everybody. How you doing? Welcome back to Wine Exposed. I'm Larry and this is my buddy Pat and we are back on Wine Exposed trying our second wine. This is the Palmeyer 2004 Napa Valley Merlot. This comes from Oakville, California. The Oakville, uh, Oakville sub-appellation of Napa. 2004 vintage. This bottle goes for about $80 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 80 US dollars on the Palmeyer Napa Valley Merlot 2004. Um, we have never had this wine before. This is uh, a special treat and um, we're both very uh, excited about this particular bottle. I myself am a big fan of Merlot even though it's kind of fallen out of favor because of the movie Sideways and you'll hear everybody talk about that but it's absolutely true. Because a lot of people say they don't drink Merlot which is a crime because it really is a fantastic, fantastic grape. It makes great wine. Um, the reason I like it so much is because it produces wine that's very full flavored. Um, it's not as, uh, it doesn't have as much tannic structure. It's not as astringent as uh, Cabernet, so it's a little bit easier drinking, and it's nice and jammy, which I really like. Um, I'm also a big fan of Zinfandel, but I like it because that that expresses a little bit more, more uh, spice. Uh, but I really love Merlot for uh, what it brings to the table. So, uh, this wine also, I believe, uh, rated pretty highly, scored pretty high from the uh, either Parker or Spectator scale. Pretty sure it was in the 90s as well. So we're going to see what we got here. Color, um, pretty dark. I mean, for an 04, this looks very fresh. Not much rim variation whatsoever. I mean... This looks like this looks like an 08 bottling. <laughs> if, if I was gonna judge this, if I was like you know a sommelier and I'm and I'm looking at this wine and I'm I'm gonna guess the vintage on this thing, this would throw me for a tremendous loop. This would have me over a barrel, no pun intended. Uh, by the way, Pat and I have not had this wine. I think I mentioned that, but um, so we have no expectations here. What you're getting is a true first experience with. The Paul Meyer 2004 Napa Merlot. <sighs> um, not overly expressive on the nose. I mean, it is expressive, but it's pretty focused, and it you kind of search for it a little bit. It's not. It doesn't. It doesn't jump out of the glass and punch you in the nose, but. What I'm getting is very focused. What about you? Yeah, it's a, it's a I'm trying to pin it down, but it's getting like more blue fruit, blueberry. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, it's a very blueberry esque. Not a lot of, um, I mean, not a lot of evidence from the aromatics of oak treatment. This is very fruit driven on the nose, which is incredible for something with such age. Oh, it smells fantastic. Yeah, great um, nose still, I mean. Not a lot of complexity, though. I mean, on the nose, I'll be honest, simple. this is, a, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's a very pretty, pretty simplistic nose. Yeah, but a, nice. lot of, a lot of fruit, very focused, a lot of blueberry. But uh, we'll see how it does. Pure silk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was pure silk. Wow. With uh with a with a little punch at the end. I mean, uh, you know, the alcohol definitely comes through on the end, but it's a hot one. I mean, it's yeah, but but one. in a very elegant way. Yeah, I mean, not it's hot. Just yeah. yeah, that is a very nice wine. <laughs> wow. Layers. I would say layers yeah. is a very good word. Tell me about it. What are you getting? I mean, what kind of layers are you getting on the mouth? Hmm. I mean, the fruit comes through, but I'm hit with like a like a chocolate, um, a mocha, almost mocha sensation. The texture on this wine 
I mean, <laughs> when I said silk, I mean, truly, yeah, I mean, this is soft. a really soft tannin. I mean, ah, yeah, it, not very astringent. I mean, this is, th there's yeah. definitely structure there. Clearly, there's structure here. This is drinking fantastically for an 04. And it drinks softer than it looks. I mean, yeah. I was expecting a lot more. Just soft and silky. Uh, um, a lot of fruit. Great finish. I mean, just. Are you getting a lot of complexity on this wine? I mean, you said layers. Absolutely, I'm definitely getting layers of fruit, but I'm, I'm not, not getting. I mean, it's, it's it's simple. I'm not getting earth at all. No, 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 no. No earth. No. Um, I just get nice fruit component. No leather or anything like that. I mean, I'm basically just getting no. a, a ton of fruit, but it's it is layered. It's, but it just um, it's it follows experience. through the entire. I mean, I mean, it doesn't fall off. I mean, it's. <laughs> this is what you talk about when you talk about balance. This is a lot of fruit. It's, I mean, it's not a very complex wine. There are layers um, that, that happen. I mean, it's up front, it's not like you're getting a ton of things. Like, you can't throw 10 descriptors out on this wine at, at first taste. But, um, so that's not to say there's not complexity because when, when there are layers uh, that you go through on the mouth on this wine, you definitely get more things. So there's, there is technically this complexity, but it's, it's a multifaceted tasting experience. It's not... It's not something that you get uh, a lot of descriptors right up front. It's it's very silky, very smooth. Um, it's very soft, um, and it's it's balanced from the perspective that it delivers a lot all the way through the experience. Hmm. Hmm. We're making burgers tonight. For this, uh, for this thing, we're putting together, we're constructing the perfect burger, and um, you know, hell, a steak would be, <laughs> would be, would be really good with this. But I think uh, my perfect burger, and maybe some of that, uh, some of the, some of the, uh, right, yeah, yeah, some of the cheese, and maybe the prosciutto. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be real nice with this wine. So, um, would you say this is a great value for eighty dollars? If someone's going to go out and spend eighty bucks on this wine for a gift for somebody, do you think it's going to deliver? I will tell you right now that I recommended this to somebody untasted because <laughs> I, I, I had a feeling that this wine was going to rock. Um, it, it, it's a it's a hard sell. I mean, Merlot is a hard sell in general, and to tell someone you have to buy an eighty dollar Merlot, it's usually not a uh, you know they just expect to buy a cab, but I mean, this drink's, I think, just as good as any cab for $80. I mean, this is a, this is a good wine. I mean, I think, yeah. you know, it's pricey, but... I'll tell you right now. You're going to be happy. I'll take this over Opus 1 any oh, day of the yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. Any sure. day of the week. And it doesn't say Merlot right on the label, so a lot of people aren't going to necessarily know. But, I mean, but this is a great bottle of wine. I'd it's, say this is a great value for $80. Yeah, if you're going mean, to spend 80 bucks, I want it to deliver like this. Yeah. Do you think this is worth 90 points? Oh, e yeah. Easily. Easily. I mean, yeah, I'd say 91. I'd give this 92 points. Yeah. I mean, if it, Not to one-up you there, buddy, but uh, I'll hey, definitely, I, you know, my... Uh, I'd, like, I'd like to see what it, it is in 30 minutes. I imagine this wine... And we will only see get better like in 30 yeah. minutes. I, and you only get better with time. I mean, this is... And, and just to imagine, this is in 04. And this had to be I bottled. Could, I mean, you probably saw this in 06. The 04 you probably saw in 06. Yeah. 07, probably 06. You um, could probably easily keep this for another five years. And it only get better. So, I mean, it's something you could even buy now and lay down for a few years. And I wouldn't lay this down more than another three years. Three years I, I, would, I would drink this two thir 2013 or before. So it's, it's you're gonna enjoy this wine. Yes, definitely. Let's uh, let's get back to the perfect burger. We'll come back in a few minutes and rock the third wine, the third and final wine. Thank you for joining us on Wine Exposed, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.